know what I'm saying? And, you know, even in the square world, you know, you might never been a pimp, but you can have women that use pussy to try to manipulate you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but some women just use it to the ex extremes and that's what hoes do. You know what I'm saying? You got lawyers, you know, who, you know, know the value of their pussy. You got doctors who are professional women that know the value of their pussy and they use it against men. Sometimes when a woman get mad, the first thing she do is she she walk out the house and she don't give you no pussy for a minute, right? Because the pussy is that powerful. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, damn, man, she acting crazy. And that's why men go cheap. Because see, one thing about a man, and women know this, that in between his, his penis is two things called testicles. You know, and these testicles got over five, a half a billion sperms in them. And them sperms want to get out. They want to release. You know what I'm saying? So men like to release. Men like to have sex. But most women, you know, when they say, and this is how you get the tricking in the pimp, this is how the, the tricks come out. Most women say, my husband got a problem. You know, he's a sex maniac. All he want to do is have fucking sex. He's a fucking, I'm tired of having sex because women look at sex different than men. Women look at, women look for affection. You know, they look for attention. They want to be held. You know what I'm saying? They want to go out to the movie. Men just want to release. You know what I'm saying? Because he got so much sperm housed in his in his testicles. So the woman said he's a sex maniac, he's a nipple, and they go have marriage counseling, and they go to the psychiatrist, and she said, what is the problem? All he want to do is have sex. She said, is that his problem? And, and the woman said, yeah, and the psychiatrist said, that's my problem too. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know we, we got the same problem. And that problem is what creates tricking. And, and, and women understand that. Women understand that, you know, that men like to release. And they know, you know, when they walk through the mall, he could be with his wife and he could, they could be pushing the baby in the stroller. He going to do that. Mm, mm. Me too, but, you know what I'm saying? And the women know their power. So some women, you know, they could be perfectly square. They still going to charge you to take them to the steakhouse. They're going to charge you to take them to the movie. You might give a woman $2,000 worth of courtship, you know, before you even get the pussy. That's another form of a, a, a horn. You know, the mother tell the, the daughter, hey, look, uh, when you get older, marry your rich man. That's horn. You know, some, uh, some, 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 some mothers say, look, that's a cute guy right there. Talk to him. Really, that guy is her boss's son. She's trying to get a better position. She's trying to get a promotion. So she's sticking her son on the, her boss's uh, she's sitting with her daughter on her, on her boss's son. And now she's fucking him and she's getting benefits from that. So pimping is not just, you know, the pimp and the hoe. Pimping goes on 24 7. Horn going on 24 7. You know, you got women that go to the church, you know, they become the pastor's assistant. Next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? Me, you know, the pastor taking care of them. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's paying for pussy. You know what I'm saying? But they won't call it pimping. You know what I'm saying? They're going to just like, you know, the pastor just, on a release. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me ask you something. Because I'm listening to you um, and you breaking this thing all the way down. W when you was out there doing what you was doing, did you go after the women or did they find you? Well, you know, it's that's what it said. I'm going to get chose with my mouth closed. See, pimps get cho chose. You know, when, once you're in the game, you know, a woman can be with you and if you beat her up or she don't like you, she can come choose up on me. That's the culture. But the squares don't know that this going. People think it's all about. There are a few uh, selected cases where, you know, you got guys that get underage girls where guys manipulate women or guys human trafficking, as they want to call it. There are some incidents of human traffic. But 99% of the women that's horned, they're doing it by choice, not by force. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, think about it like this. If a bitch got with me and she was paying me and I said, go to work, she go all the way out of my house. Say, what state you live in? What state New you York. live in? So, New York. So, okay, say, say you live in Harlem, right? Mm -hmm. But the track is on 11th Avenue in Manhattan. So she get on the L, she get on the train, she go all the way to Manhattan. She see about nine police officers, about five uh, MTMs, you know, uh, 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 medical. MTA uh, workers, yeah. Yeah, and she don't ask neither one of them to save me from the pimp hand. But she go and she get the money and she held the money in her hand first. Then she take it home and give it to a pimp. You have to 
Say, how did she get all the way from Manhattan, all the way back to Harlem to give you that money? You know what I mean? Why did she stop a police officer or a social worker or, you know, a pastor? Somebody say, look, this guy is forcing me into prostitution because that ain't how the gang go. It's by choice, by not by force. She's willingly giving her money because she had multiple opportunities to take that four or $500 that she might have made that night and go get her apartment and move to another section of the city and start whoring over there. You know what I'm saying? But generally what happened, the minute she get mad with me, you would think that she would quit after she leave me. No, she go choose up on another pimp. So now she's being pimped by another pimp and the system say she's being manipulated. I think, you know, it's, it's more so, you know, she's giving the man the money because she don't want to look like she's a nymphomaniac. You know, I'm not crazy, but I'm giving my money to this guy. He's the reason why I'm doing it. No, that's not, he's not the reason why you're doing it because you have multiple opportunities to get out the game, but you're still in the game. And some of them be in the game 10 to 15 years. You can't tell me somebody made anybody do anything for that multiple period of time, you know? So, uh, you know, most of the cases, you know, in the life, now every now and then, you know, you might pull up in a Rolls Royce, you know, you fly, you got the Rolex on, and a woman might be in, you know, she might be, excited by that and say, now, who is you? And you might have a couple of quick lines. What's up, mom? You so fine. Your mom said that trip is you like, you need to be in Look Magazine. What's up, gorgeous? Come on, can I take you out to get you something to eat, baby? I just want to show you better ways of brighter days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you got to, yeah, come on, baby. So what you want to do? You want to go to this, okay, huh? order what you want. You know, you get it and then, you know, you tell us, yeah, you know, have you, you know, ever think about getting some money? Get some money how? You know, just, you know, uh, checking out. You know, I got some older guys that got some you know, some, some 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 money and they be lonely. You know, you can make a quick five, six thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? And she said, where? You don't know nobody can do that. I said, yes, I do. You must be a pimp. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you can call me that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm going to put you in a better life. So I'm going to make you, I'm going to get you out this project. You know, we just talking shit, right? The next thing you know, I go get one of my partners, one of my OGs. I give them 500 dollars. I say, man. You know, have, have sex with this bra for 500. Now she's turned out. She got that 500. I let her keep that 500. You know, I'm turning her out. So now she's taking that 500 and she's going shopping. She said, do you know I get some more than 500 is that? You know I said? Yeah, I do. But guess what? You know what I'm saying? Me, since I'm giving you the game and I'm showing you, you know, how the game go and I'm giving you guidance and inspiration and motivation, check this out. You know, why don't you just let me handle the money? Let me control everything. I'm going to buy you all your clothes. I'm going to buy you everything. And we're going to have a business. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at this point, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she's going to agree because she's going to want to keep making money. And then after a while, she gets in the culture and she realizes, oh, this is how it goes. All the hoes is giving their money to the pimps. You know, you know, the pimps control the money. You know what I'm saying? The pimps buy the clothes. The pimps buy the wigs. I had a one pimp partner named Ron. He's out of Dallas. He had 17 white bitches. He told all his hoes to add up all the money that they spent on a monthly basis. They were spending 42000 a day, a month. How much? $42,000 a month on makeup, hair, clothes, apartments, and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, so you know, he was making about 100000 a month. You know, so he was clearing about, about $58,000 in profit. but you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, all of them was in agreement. 17 beautiful blonde white bitches. You know what I'm saying? All American. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but, you know, it was fun to them. You know, they wanted, they was winning. You know, they was winning the best of the best. They didn't need him. If they would have not used him, they would have had $100,000 in profit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That 15000 they got. But why did they do that? It's the same reason why, you know, people, like I said, have abandonment issues you know, uh, socialization issues, you know, socialization, meaning that that's the reason why gangs are formed because they want a family structure. You know, some of them, you know, come from broken homes. Some of them was orphans. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of reasons that the society don't speak on and the psychiatrists and the sociologists don't speak on when it comes to the film because it's embarrassing because most of them are the tricks. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.
Make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video.